Hi, uh, this is Ilma from Ilma Art Studio and today I'd like to do a DIY uh, for Christmas uh, trees. Uh, it's a different... Um, I took. I saw somebody do it on um, YouTube but I thought I'd do something different uh, with the invisible tree or the hanging tree. So I'd like to give you I don't know if I can actually do a DIY of it because it took me like 10 hours to do this um, tree, this hanging tree, which is more rustic than all the other trees I saw uh, online or on uh, Pinterest or on uh, YouTube. So if you notice, it looks, uh, it's a hanging tree. But, um, so I made two, that's one of them. And I'm just gonna move this to the other side so you will see the other tree that I made. It's right there by the window. And it's, and I put some lights on it. So I'm gonna pull this away and show you what the tree is made of so that um, I could uh, give you sort of an instruction how I did it. So here, this is, there's a reflection. See, now you can see from here, it's nice. That's why I took it at night so that you will be able to see how I did it. And I put some lights on it. See that? But if you look at it, it's hanging on... Um, I bought a wreath at the dollar store, which is the structure under here. So if you will see, this is what's hanging on the ceiling. And then I put like the fish fishing lines which looks invisible but you can also use uh, um, what do you call this lace um, ribbons if you want the thin ones but I made that burlap uh, wrap around that what I did is I bought a cheap three or four dollar wreath that has silver stuff on it and I removed the silver stuff and I just used the frame because I just needed a frame but um, this one took me three hours. This is the second one I did. And you will see that I put, uh, I had a tall vase, a uh, vase that, uh, that's transparent that I used to use for my terrariums, which I made and put some burlap on it. And what I did is to get those um, Christmas lights, the the battery operated once at the dollar store too so I hanged it from down here and how it's wired at the back is just where I put the I don't know if you can see it it's too dark I didn't want to turn on the light so it's here at the back you will see that I put the battery operated here so you don't really see it so it's actually standing on top of one of our antique radios. My husband collects antique radios. So that's how it looks like uh, by the window. So the window is out there and you will see that it reflects from the outside. The first one I did is this one. Now I got a Dollar Tree little tree under there so that it will reflect on top of the other ones. But this looks more solid than this one because what I did with this here I'm gonna zoom in so you can see was to put like ribbons like burlap ribbons right right there near the cover of the transparent um, balls or the glass it's not really a glass ball it's a plastic ball it looks glass so and then I put some um, pine um, trimmings or cut, uh, cuttings of the leaves of the pine inside and I put it inside. So I did that all one by one and I got a, uh, you see that love, joy, peace uh, ribbon that I just inserted inside. So what really took longer was to put all these things inside it and you can put anything on it if you want. But I thought that the ribbon will well, really look like you're you have ribbon hanging on the tree and then I put like a tree top a topper which is also another ribbon um, and the other one I'll show you the difference the tree topper here is a smaller ribbon so this is a different vari 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 
variety of variation that I did. What I did is not to put a burlap outside. I put the burlap ribbon inside. That's all that's inside, if you can see that. And then the ribbon with the joy, love, and peace is just out on top. So I did two different variations, but I will show you what I did. This one is not hanging on a, on a wreath. So I'm just going to go get a ladder so I can show you what's going on on top. So what I did here is, you see that, this is a tray, a plastic tray um, that I got from the Dollar Tree. And what I did is to punch holes on all, you see those holes? So what I did was to punch holes outside and one inch going inside and another inch going inside or at an inch and a half. And then I uh, see walk through the lines on it and then I put stoppers here, just little things that I punched holes on so that I could lock it there and then it will work that way. So that's how I did this first tree, which is my first attempt to do this. But I thought it looked nice and somebody wanted to buy it except that I didn't know how to ship it because she she was from the States and she wanted to take it home and I said maybe if I can come up with something next time I will be able to do something for her so let me just uh, put this back on the tripod so I can chat with you so that's how it looks like, you know, if you look at the tree again. Um, I have been doing my Christmas tree since I was a, since I was high school. I'll be doing a different tree every year, but uh, it's good that we have the information technology now that we can actually share uh, people's creativity and it's fun to see other people and maybe tweak some things that you see. And so that's my twist on the invisible tree. And I hope you like it. And what I did is to put, like here, what I did here, different from the other one, is I put some Christmas balls on a jar, you know, like just silver balls, to reflect the light from the those two little trees with lights there. And I put some three reindeers, which I got from the Dollar Tree as well. So... All in all, it looks so neat, and people love it when they see it. Now I'm going to turn on the lights so you can see, because I had to turn off the lights so you can actually see it. Like from here, it does look like invisible, but it looks like it has something that's, that the tree is standing on. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to put this back here. So thanks for watching and I hope you check my other Christmas DIY at Ilma Arts Studio and uh, I hope that you can um, share my videos and I did uh, three years ago I did a uh, paper tissue flower Christmas tree which I already probably have 200 almost 300,000 views and um, I haven't seen anybody do it as well. But um, I know a lot of people have been doing this invisible tree as well, but this is my take on it. So thanks for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a wonderful day.